Hello my fellow Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel. This is the stock of the day. Uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about how I combine the TPI chart and the valuation chart in my stock scanner and therefore I have decided to make a little three to four minute video every day in this uh, week simply just to show you how I use it or how you can use it. Of course you need to uh, apply your own methods and risk management and all that stuff as always but what I've done is I have used our screener and what I have screened for is a TPI trend, meaning the long-term trend should be green in an uptrend. Then I have the weekly TPI should be in a accumulation oversold phase, either pointing down or up. And then uh, I'm looking at the, the thing called analyst earnings per share estimate upside. I know it sounds a bit cryptic, but what it basically means is that from the current price, and then to what the analyst estimate uh, estimate uh, will be the, the, the growth over the next couple of years, there should be at least 10% upside uh, to that target. So let's have a look at it. The stock I will have a look at today is TK Tankers. Many of you might know it, but uh, if we take a quick look at it, <clears throat> we can see that um, the US score here, or the, the, the value score for US and North America is in the top 90s. Quality is very high, close to 90 as well. And the momentum score is 78 for United States and 77 for North America. Doesn't matter too much when it's US because US is most of the North American stock market, but there is a bit of a difference. Overall stock score, 98, so a very strong uh, stock. Um, price to earning right now, 7.1. Uh, there is a drop in earnings. We'll have a look at that just in a second. But overall, we can see down here in the quality, uh, they are making some very, very good percentages here in return on capital, return on equity. Uh, and we can see down here that the free cash flow has been going very much in the right direction. So how am I using the TPI and the valuation? Well, first of all, I did screen for the TPIs here. So what we're looking at is a long-term uptrend in the green. And then we have an oversold accumulation here in the weekly. And actually we also have it in the daily, which just makes it even better. Meaning that from a statistical point of view, both on the daily and on the weekly timeframes, this ought to be going up soon. And we are in a longer term uh, uptrend here. So this is just what we want to see. But this is a, the technical and the statistical part of it. We also like to see that there is some upwards push from the analyst, from the big guys in the market. And looking at the valuation here, if we just look three earnings reports out in the future, as you can see, it's actually only two years because the next one is here at New Year. And then we have two years out here. It does seem a bit dramatic here that we have the first year earning. That is this year with a, a rise in, in earnings per share growth at 130% and then next year a minus 31. If you're looking at the tankers, marine shipping and so on, they are dropping uh, over the next couple of years, many of them. But if you're looking in here in market screen, they often have a bit more out in the future estimates than we do. We can see that the net income here should be going up roughly 10%. You can see the mid number there from 331 to 362. So we are putting in a 10% earnings per share growth just as an estimate for the third year. So right now we have three years here. Uh, we have had a, including analyst estimates. So the first year uh, or the first two earnings report uh, that are these two here, we had them covered in the dark gray area. Then we are adding a 10% earnings per share growth, which is the analyst estimates here, <clears throat> which give us uh, if we, we can just add the price earning that we are at right now, that is roughly seven. If uh, these earnings are holding through and if they have a 10% uh, earnings per share growth in uh, 25, uh, then we can see over the next couple of years, a 70% uh, stock growth, 70% uh, growth in the stock price over the next couple of years. Now we know that the analysts are not always right. So let's try and bump this down to 0% and see what happens. Well, we would still get a 54% growth over the next couple of years. What if the price earning drops to five? Well, 
we would still see an, uh, a growth in the, uh, in the stock price at 10% over the next couple of years, even though in the last year here, we bumped the earnings down to 0% and the PE down to 5. That is basically, it has been 4.6 over the last 10 years, 5.7 down to 3. Uh, at the end of 22, it was 4.6. So we're setting it at 5 is definitely achievable. And then 0% in earnings per share growth. Well, that still gives us a 10% growth over the next couple of years, not as much as we might be making in, in, a, in, in an account in the, in the bank, but that doesn't matter. This is just to say the analyst might be wrong. So if we are downgrading that and still have a profit, then we have a very good upside potential. Combining that with the TPI chart that says we are in a long-term uptrend, statistically from a daily and a weekly, we should be starting to move up soon. Well, then I would be quite comfortable in taking this. I wouldn't take it as a, or well, you could take it as a swing trade, but actually this could be for a bit of a longer term since the fundamentals are pointing upwards and we are taking the technicals here from the TPI, which also gives you a very good indication of some potential upside. I can't promise you anything. These are just indicators and math and fundamentals and estimates. So you need to do your own due diligence, but this is a case of how I use the TPI and valuation chart together. So tomorrow I'll have a new candidate for you. Have a look at TK Tankers. Uh, it is a ticker symbol T and K. Have a look at it. Decide for yourself. Take care of your uh, take care of yourself and your money out there. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.